this screen might look familiar from one of my previous videos. <coughs> this is the sales uh, data application. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add one more additional functionality to delete a salesperson from the file. So I'm just going to declare caps is on delete salesperson and then we can create the body in the CPP file. Um, <coughs> we need to add the class. And then we can go to the body. So as always, start with clearing the screen. We're gonna need <coughs> input file stream. Input file called output. And then we'll go from there. So the method I'm going to use now for deleting the salesperson will be writing all the data to a temporary file besides or writing all the data to a temporary file except the line that we don't want to include and then rename, renaming that file to the original name and that way we'll have left out the entry that we don't or the entry that we want to delete So first, just to think, the, think through the logic, first we need to find out what's in the sales pe salesperson file. Then we need to get the ID of the person we want to delete, and then we output everything except the ID of the person we want to delete. So my input, I like to open. Users. And <coughs> bless me. That's going to be my cells persons dot text file. Open that from the beginning. And then we'll use a for loop to get all of that data in. I was just in count, so we've got that count function. We've got that count function over here. So that just tells us how many uh, lines there are. Yes, count. How many lines there are in the sales version file. So then we need to get the data. However, we need to have a variable to put the data in. So let's create temporary variables. So we'll call that um, temp ID and temp name. And then we need to create a string vector. So we'll call that vector ID. So we use that, we're going to get the input from the input file. We're going to put that into temp ID and we're going to stop taking input at the comma. So that's going to capture the ID because the way the file is structured, um, when you've got two lines there. The way the file is structured is that the ID is uh, first, up until the comma, and then the name of the employee is after the comma. So up until the comma, we'll input the ID number into 
in ID, then we get the name from input into temp name, and that we can get that data up from the new line. And then we'll simply um, push that data back into the vector. We're pushing back into the ID. What are we pushing back? We're pushing back the temp ID. So the value in temp ID in this iteration of the for loop will be the first line of data. In the next iteration, we push back the temp ID, which will be the second line that was read. So it, for every iteration, there's a different value being pushed back into the vector. with the ID and the name into the two vectors. In one of my previous videos, what I did was I input this into a string, the ID, then I changed the string into an int and then I pushed that int into an int vector. That was a bit tedious and unnecessary because the reason I did that was because I needed to Ah, oh, bless me. I don't know what's happening with my sneezing now. So the reason I um, did that initially was because I wanted to compare the int ID Ah, oh, the sneezing. It's not doing, not doing me good. Okay, anyways. So, yeah. This is other video, it's a bit difficult to explain now, but this is going to work fine. We're putting like the ID and the name into a string vector. So once we've pushed that back, then we should have all our salespeople saved, salesperson's ID is saved, and salesperson's name is saved. Okay, then we can ask for employee ID, and then we'll just get uh, we'll get that value into the temp ID variable. So now, what's in the temp ID variable will be the person that we would like to delete. And now we can open our output file and we are going to output this into a temporary file. Then we start into bar. We just close the door. So we're going to output this uh, into a temporary file. We'll call this temp.txt and then we'll start outputting the data into into this file with a for loop. Count. So, what we're going to do is say that if the temp ID, which is the, which is now the variable of the or the ID number of the person we would like to delete, let's say if that ID is not the same as the vector ID. Then we'll output this to the file. We'll output the we'll output the vector ID along with a comma along with a vector name. Oops.
so what this is saying is that if we if we are not at the line of the person we want to delete then we'll output, output them to the file which means that as soon as we get to the line with the person we like to delete as soon as we get to the line of the person that we would like to, to delete then we won't output that name to the file essentially deleting it from the file so once we've uploaded all the lines to the new file except the one we want to delete then we can go ahead and close Good, we can close the output and then we want to remove, uh, remove the original file so that will be this file because the new data is now in the new data is now in the temp file and no longer in the salesperson file we can get, we can delete the salesperson file and then we change the temp file's name to salesperson so at the end of the day we'll still be left with a salesperson file um, we'll rename that in the way the parameters here is the old file which is we're changing the old file is temp and we're changing that to salesperson so what that does is uh, it changes our temp file which now is the updated salesperson list and it changes the name of the temp file to the salesperson file so now we're left with a salesperson file which is updated, essentially having deleted whomever we want to delete from the salesperson's file. Okay, so that should work. Um, I'm still busy updating the code, so there's a couple of errors, so I won't be able to um, launch the application now. But let's just add this new function to the main menu. We'll go to 32 and 16. I'm going to move the cursor in the command line down and then we'll say 4 to delete cells person and then so that we can select that we've got case 4 and we'll call salesperson delete salesperson and back so essentially what will happen now is if I if I launch the program successfully which it shouldn't because there are a couple of errors that I still need to sort out um, so what should happen is I should have an option to delete salesperson um, and then I'll be asked for the ID of the salesperson then I'll be asked for the ID of the salesperson that I need to delete and essentially all the, all the lines except the line of the person that I want to delete will be copied to a new file and the new file will just be renamed to the original file name. And that's how we delete um, a value or a line from a text file or from any file in C++.